Today, I'm going to show you how to replace these down lights with the Philips Hue down lights and show you why Philips Hue is not worth the price. Let's begin. Welcome back everybody to New House, New Tech, where I am turning my brand new house into a smart house, one device at a time. If you are new to this, to this series, welcome. I am so glad that you stopped by. This is episode three in this mini series. So if you missed the previous episodes, click right up here or click down below so you can go and check those out after you watch this video. Now, Philips Hue is an OG when it comes to smart lighting. They, they, they've been doing this thing since 2012 and unfortunately they are still the only only brand that makes recessed down lights that work with HomeKit. Philips Hue is known for having good quality bulbs and they offer the biggest variety of smart lighting compared to any other brand. But I still prefer the Yee Light Smart LED bulbs. Yee Light works with HomeKit, Amazon Assistant, Google Assistant, and more. And the best part is that they do not require a hub. Whereas Philips Hue charges you 60 smackaroonies for a tiny little white box just so you can control your bulbs re remotely. In this video right here, I show you why I believe the Yee Light Smart Color LED bulbs are the best smart bulbs that money can buy. So click right here or down below if you want to see why. Now let me tell you what, these guys were expensive. These things were about 55 bucks a piece times three. The calculation is right here plus the bridge, which is 60 bucks. You're looking at about 230 bucks. Installation took about 10 minutes for all three of them. Turn off the breaker, carefully pull down your existing down lights, reach up into the can and unscrew the existing light, screw in the Philips E26 bulb socket adapter into the base, plug in the adapter piece into the back of the Philips Hue down light and carefully push the light into the can and twist so the metal prongs lock into place. Turn your breaker back on and they will light up. In the Philips Hue app, you can easily control the power, the brightness of the bulbs, and also the color of the bulbs as well, thanks to the nice and clean minimal design of the Philips Hue app. Now you can control these bulbs without a $60 bridge, but only via Bluetooth, so whenever you're in range, and up to 10 bulbs at a time. Without a bridge, you cannot control them remotely. And that is my biggest gripe and annoyance with the whole Philips Hue ecosystem is that it requires a $60 square piece of plastic just so you can control the bulbs wherever you are in the entire world. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Anyways, the down lights are bright at 700 lumens, which is a little lower than the average bulb on the lumen scale, which is okay. Other Philips Hue bulbs are 800 lumens or more. My Yee Light bulbs are 800 lumens and they are bright. So $700 is still pretty bright. Now, a feature that I love about the Yee Light bulbs is called flow mode. Flow mode allows the bulbs to flow through different colors at various speeds, which is really awesome. Philips Hue does not have this feature, which is a major bummer considering Philips Hue bulbs are about 50 to 60% more expensive than Yee Light bulbs. Now you can achieve a similar effect using a IFTTT recipe, but you cannot control the speed of which the colors flow through and you cannot choose the colors which the bulb flow flows through. Whereas with Yee Light, you can choose the colors and the speed. So you get a whole lot more customization with the Yee Light bulbs. Because Philips Hue is a smart bulb, that means that you can create some pretty incredible automations. For example, my wife and I love to have people over for parties. So we have a automation called party time, which whenever I tr trigger this via our echo dots, it will basically turn our dot into a DJ and cause my bulbs to flow through various colors and play some pretty hype party music. And it looks a little something like this. Are you ready to party? Let's go. The best part is that this is super simple to set up in the app and here's how you do it. All right, so when you are in the Her Name app, go to More, then Routines, then tap the plus symbol and give this routine a name. Then choose when this happens and voice. And this is what you will say to your dot to get her to trigger this routine. All right, and then add action and then go to device settings and volume. I typically like to keep the volume between 50 to 70%. So we're gonna do 67 and 68, that's fine. 
next and then add action and then her name says and then customized and this is what you will have her say all right so i'm gonna i want to have her say are you ready to party let's go uh, so I hit next and now what we want to do is add action then we need to get the lights to change colors so I have a strobe scene set up in my Yeelight app that will automatically cycle through various colors so I'm gonna need to go to smart home and then scene and then strobe and add and since Philips Hue does not have flow mode we have to use the IF2T recipe that I talked about earlier in the video. To do that go to add action then scroll down to IFTTT and then you'll see this party time um, scene click next and now what we want to do is just add the music and they'll be done so we want to go to add action then music and this is what you want to put in wherever you want your music to play from whatever song or playlist so i have a playlist we do need to adjust the order of everything so we want to do set the volume to seven first then i ready to play let's go and then strobe and then that and then play the uh, play the music so now i choose from this device from choose device or whatever device that you want to tell it so i like to do it in my kitchen and i'm gonna hit save and it will take me to save and now let's go and see what happens Another automation that I use almost daily with these down lights is that whenever my office lamp turns off, my overhead lights will automatically turn on so that I can make my wife some coffee before she wakes up in the morning time. And this is done in the home app and it only takes a couple of steps. When you are in the home app, tap the automation icon and then tap the plus symbol. And now choose whenever an accessory is controlled and choose your light. In my case, it's my office lamp, then tap next. And whenever my office lamp does what? Whenever it turns off, only during a certain time period, so choose specific times. Then in my case, I want it to be at 6.20 a.m. and between 6.35 a.m. Now I click done. So then click next. And now I choose whenever the office lamp turns off, what happens? In my case, I want my overhead lights to turn on. So tap overhead, then tap next, and tap it to turn it on. And now click done. So now whenever my office lamp turns off between 6.20 a.m. and 6.35 a.m., my overhead lights will automatically turn on so I can make my wife a delicious cup of coffee as she is waking up. If you like to bake or set timers often with your Echo Dot, then there's a IFTTT recipe that will actually cause your Philips Hue bulbs to flash whenever your timer has gone off. This is great if your Echo Dot is in a different room and you're in the kitchen or, or wherever your Philips bulbs are or whenever the timer goes off the lights will automatically start to flash and they will stop flashing after about 10 to 15 seconds in my opinion Philips Hue is not worth the price when there are so many other third-party alternative brands that are as good as Philips if not even better than Philips and are a whole lot more affordable like the Yeelot bulb which is only 30 bucks click here to view all the episodes in the series and click here for a video that I think you might like and I will see you guys in the final episode